Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, this uh, video will be about um, kind of new concept or build uh, we are playing with those days, um, which are simply <laughs> way bigger uh, toothpick style frame um, going to, to 5 inch. Um, first of all, I'd like to make a big uh, shout out for Dave CFPV, David Cledon, who is the um, technically the first one to to have uh, put together such a build with an extraordinary design frame uh, modular frame and um, made some quick uh, test already um, in fact we discussed with him a few weeks ago and also with the chad astronomo uh, and we're saying that we should do this kind of build right now because uh, of one thing that changed recently and that thing is um, the coming on the on the market um, availability wise of the beta fpv board uh, 20 amps so this uh, new board that um, is uh, is out right now changes a few things and especially the fact that in fact when you go uh, at 20 amps with uh, with your ESCs practically you're able to to go much bigger in the build so you can go to 20 to, to 5 inch without almost any issue um, when I started the uh, FPV and quad stuff related, uh, which is five years ago now, um, my very first uh, five inch build was uh, running 12 amps or 20 amps with uh, 1806 motors. So um, I kind of know that this is perfectly do doable as a, as a concept of machine with 20 amps uh, and it will be flyable. Um, my build at that time was, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm putting a picture on the, on the screen right now, was uh, way heavier, way bigger and stuff like that. Um, but being into micro toothpick style what those days uh, made us think that it, there is something to do um, with an oversized, let's say, toothpick like this one. So let me talk about uh, this frame a bit. Um, if you see Dave's frame, which is a very elegant and modular frame with a bike uh, piece in the middle to retain the arms and stuff like that, um, this one is a bit different because it's an unibody frame uh, i wanted to go with something simple and still in the in the the category and the the, the kind of design that already put out uh, for the toothpick style machines and remain on a single body frame uh, it's not necessarily the best solution because at that size you have to <laughs> when you order one or something like that you have to fit the whole thing in the box so the whole thing being uh, 200 millimeters wide it's not as common as something that can be disassembled and put in, in a small bag um, except that it's about the same weight um, this one is 35 grams uh, of carbon uh, in five millimeters uh, thickness and um, what can I say about it? Uh, the motors, uh, the motor mount is three, three hole going from 12 millimeter to 16 millimeter. So we can put big, big motors on it. Um, I'm not sure what design is online right now. This one is the first one. So it has some battery straps uh, here. I think uh, what you find online are it it's in the other direction and the other thing i i've made on this one uh took inspiration from the um, the twig mutant i think is to separate the canopy mount from the uh flight control screws so basically um you can put a lot of s a lot of things not so much uh inside the the frame as the FC, VTX and stuff like that and the canopy covers it but is not on the same uh, mounting point so s from a structural point of view it's, it, it, it may be better even if it adds a bit of material here to add the, 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 the standoffs and the screws here um, 
for the the build I'm planning right now. Uh, what do I have? What else do I have? I have a canopy in the works with the Runcam Nano 2, quite common. It's the pickle pod to modify to fit on the on, on the on the smart mount pattern. Um, for the motors, I get some X Nova 1804 uh, 31k kV which is the lowest KV you can get for this one. Uh, motors is a uh, is, uh, separate topic and I come on it a bit later. Let me just show what I'm gonna put on it. And the um, the Beta FPV board, which you can see is, uh, is, uh, is the same as the 12 amps or something like that. Uh, with the uh, Ichi Nano VT VTX and the Crossfire Nano. Uh, I swapped the connector for XT60 with a capacitor uh, solder here. It's a 4S capacitor that I use on my my classic uh, 4S build, freestyle builds. Um, and that's about it because <laughs> it's still like a whoop. So very few components that you put together and, uh, and just send it. Um, I also made people laugh on the internet with this rubber band which is huge i found it uh, on the ground uh, when i was going back home but in fact it's uh, the perfect size for this kind of machine so it's uh, super huge but i can still use a rubber band uh, to to secure my battery i don't know if it's the best solution but i can try it anyway um now let's talk about the motors the motors are xnova 1804 31 31 kv here um I don't know if they are suitable. In fact, uh, David tasted uh, 1606 motors and uh, it was a bit uh, complicated to fly. You lack control apparently. And then on uh, Bob Rugi's recommendation, he tried some 2207 with low KV, um, like uh, 6S motors are running, running on 4S and he got very good results. I still think that it's not necessary to go with big motors. This one are 16 grams uh, versus 30 grams for a, for a 2007 usually. Um, and I think that it's it may be tune related, so you can do a lot of things tune related. But for now, we don't really know which are the best motors to use on this kind of very light build. Um, prop wise, I was planning to use this, which are some very old gem fan, 1530 uh, that you commonly see around, uh, I think four years ago for uh, five inch quads, and they are bad, Mat uh, plastic is, is brittle, they are kind of unbalanced, but um, they are B-blades and light B-blades, so I see how it goes, but I'm not sure that <laughs> it's the best option you can get right now, and uh, I don't know if there is any other option, so if uh, someone could push some vendor to, to get better props like those, it may be interesting, but these one are here, so let's test them and see how, how they go. Um, I also had these props from T Motor um, 5143, and um, this one are interesting because they are very light. In fact, uh, probably one of the lightest prop on the market. I don't know if it's if it's still the case right now, but uh, they may worth a try anyway because they are very very light, so easier to spin for uh, for uh, for s small motors like those. Um, that's about it. I have to put all the stuff together um, and give it a test. I'm going also to jump to the beta flight 4.1 uh, trend because uh, apparently everyone is getting better results with the uh, with this version of beta flight uh, so i have to do all the upgrades put everything together and see how it goes um, i didn't mention the battery i have some old uh, Infinity Graphene uh, 850 milliamps 4S that I'm going to use on the build. Uh, batteries are 110 grams, I think. So with the build, which is around 140, we are at 250 grams. So it's not that bad uh, for a five inch setup. Um, hopefully everything went go well and uh, I don't have uh, any 
surprise with the G or something like that. Uh, cr fing fingers crossed. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time for some flight footage of this uh, this setup. Um, take care. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you can. It helps a lot for the ongoing of this channel. Uh, thanks. Bye bye.